Welcome back. Hope you guys are okay with me doing more arena because I'm ha I'm not finding any real issues with it. So I'm gonna join this Guilds of Ravnica draft. I'm gonna open a sweet drowned secrets, and then we're probably just gonna take deadly visit. Could take Sky Knight Legionnaire, I guess. This leaves us open to be Golgari, and maybe this Molder Hulk comes back. I'm gonna take the deadly visit. I'd rather be in one color than in two. I like a Chemister's Insight a lot. I do like Golgari more than Sultai, though. But I think Chemister Insight is very, very strong. I, I, it's obvious. I don't even know how to, I don't, I don't tell you guys that. Did you guys know Chemister's Insight was very strong? You, you know. You know it is. There are two very strong red cards here. Hmm. Could also just take the Notion Rain or the Golgari Guildgate. Like, God, I keep leaning towards Sultai, but... I mean, like... We do well with it. You know what I mean? Hmm, 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 I'm pretty sure we just take Notion Rain. I mean, some stay dry while others feel the pain, you know? That's just Notion Rain. Thought Erasure. Oh, Deadweight. That is a late Deadweight, which I'm very, very okay with. Thanks, Magic Arena. Demir Guildgate? Yeah, we'll take a Demir Guildgate. Sonic Hound, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Game Crank, 17 months in a row. Thank you so much for the resub as well. You guys are great. Really appreciate it. Much love. You guys are beautiful snowflakes. And then there's nothing here, really. I like Guild Summit just to try to build around it, and I think it's early enough to take it. I don't care about a Veiled Shade or a Barrier of Bones. And then we can take this Guild Gate. And then we can just go Guild Gate crazy. I'll take Child of Night. Burglar Rat. Alright, so we're just giving us the, the solid playables that we want here. I guess Wall of Mist for the signboard. Golgari Guild. See, this is what I mean. Take out a child. I will take a Mephitic Vapors for the sideboard. I don't know if we're going to be green yet. That guy's playable, I guess. Thousand Year Storm. Not the rare we were wanting. I'll take Night Veil Sprite. I think I, maybe this Guildgate comes back. Maybe this Dark Blade Agent comes back. Maybe this Dowser comes back. Maybe the Passwall Adam comes back. Hmm. No rare. That's weird. It's like they're like, no, you'll never get a past rare. Having a card like Dark Blade Agent or um, Disinformation Campaign after you land a turn two Sprite is pretty good, so I'm going to take the Dark Blade Agent. <sighs> Venerated Loxanon. There is no Orzov and there is no Azorius, so our odds of actually playing this guy are pretty low. Probably just taking Hired Poisoner here. Did you guys take it off emote only mode? Okay, good. I was like, man, you guys are... Philly, have a good night, buddy. I uh, always appreciate your, your support and, and seeing you in the chat, buddy. Always a good time. I will not know what to take here. This is actually a pretty tricky pack where... I guess it's Prey Upon. I'm not going to take Vicious Rumors. Although we did just lose to it pretty handily. There's some weird... Like, it's not this, this, or this, right? So it's not a card in our colors. It might just be Luminous Ponds. Doesn't seem great. Dart isn't terrible, but I'm just really not a fan of it. Five mana to deal three damage is just not where I want to be. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Vivid Revival could be good. It's like draw three if you have enough multicolor cards in your graveyard. Maybe we'll try that. It's also pretty easy to splash. District Guide. Okay. Well. Another Notion Rain. Definitely taking a Dowser here. 
Oh, another Dowser. Now I wish I took the Saratok. Now this deck just looks the same as the last deck, which is pretty funny. Uh, we'll definitely take Crushing Canopy. This is a card I regretted not having last time. God, we just end up at Sultai every time. Sorry, guys, but I mean, I think the archetype is good. So for three drops, we have one, two, three, four, five. I still think Generous Stray is better than Ceratok here. But I only have like one four drop. We're going to get another Ceratok, I bet. That's my guess. I also, if we're, if we're going deeper, is that three bigger spine horns? Good lord. Knight of Autumn. I, I could take that just to take it, but we're probably taking this price of fame. That's a pretty easy price of fame. Oh, another Vivid Revival. All right, well, there you go. Um, Nothing great in this pack, so we're probably just taking the Guildgate. I'm probably also taking out Veiled Shade. I would like to try to make Guild Summit work. Just keep taking Demir Guild Gates, right? With a Guild Summit, I think that's actually fine. Oh, a Demir Spybug seems great for this deck. We have a lot of uh, Surveil. Sinister Sabotage. And an, in an Indrik? Oh, it's probably Indrik. Indrik just is significantly better. Yeah, that's a splashable dude. Did he make the noise when I picked him? That's interesting. I like Whisper Agent. I don't care about Swarm that much. I'm probably just taking the Whisper Agent. We already have a Crushing Canopy on the sideboard. This guy will make the cut. Golgari! Guildgate. I'm going to take the Guildgate because I don't think we need that many more playables. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 21 cards. But I'd rather just have Guildgates to try to make Guild Summit work. Mm, okay. Yep. Keep on keeping on. Uh, Iron Shell Beetle is fine. Generous Stray, also fine. Actually, this is the perfect deck for Glaive. This is just the same as our last deck, basically. Ideally, we'll get, like, one more reasonable playable. I'm not seeing it yet, but... Vigor Spine Warren number 10. That's not bad. I think we have six Guild Gates here. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven is actually exactly what we want. That's great for uh, Guild Summit. I only need one cut here. That's pretty good. Can probably cut Vivid Revival. Um, how many two drops do we have? A lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably cut Shield Mate. Like, we want a minimal amount of green, and Vivid Rival could be good. We only have, like, four gold cards, though. One, two, three, four. I have five, I guess. I don't know if the... I don't even know if I like the, uh... The Vivid Revival in the main deck. Might just play Veiled Shade. Could also play Silent Dart. Here comes Sneezy Mike again. I don't actually love... I mean, Shieldmate's actually better in the deck if we do have... If we do keep uh, Vivid Revival in. So we have 14 creatures. That's not bad. Others oh, are because they're more likely to end up salt tie. Okay, good. Then we are in good shape. Do I want a worm over a beetle having our splash color on turn two? See, oh, you don't need this guy on turn two, though, is the thing. You actually don't want him on turn two because he's only putting himself. He's only 
targeting himself. I like him in the late game because then you can put him on something like uh, Indrik, Douser of Lights, Demir Spybug. You can put him on a, a Child of Night to trade with some things. I might just take out the Revival for another, for, for Veiled Shade here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's check out the mana just to make sure. Three, four, five. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Probably not going to do that. One, two, three, four. So this is four, five. Oh, these are actually five good mirror guild gates. Holy smokes. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight islands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten swamps. Nine, so nine, eight. <laughs> and then three, four, five, six, seven. And this is three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, six, six. Yeah, this seems good. How many can we target with Vivid? Not a lot. Uh, like three cards. Whisper Agent, two Notion Reigns, and a Dark Blade Agent, and a Demir Spy Bug, so. Nothing too great either. I, I think our, our deck seems good. I think Vivid's a fine card. I think drawing three for five of your choice is pretty good. The problem is that uh, we only have four different cards to, to draw. Four or five different cards to draw total. Oh, uh, yeah, this sand seems great. Why always Sultai? I Because I just, and it just ends up that way. I always get Demir cards, and then I get past like an Indrik, and I'm like, I might as well splash because it's super easy to splash a green in this stuff in this format. And then you get a bunch of, I, I think I value iron things like Iron Shell Beetles and uh, Burglar Rats really high because they combo well with things like Severed Strands. That guy is problematic. They have nothing else, though, so I think we're going to wait to play District Guide and then play Iron Shed Beetle. However, if they play something this turn, like a Woyek Bodyguard, it's pretty bad. Because then they're attacking with a 3 4 and a 3 3 on turn 4. Not ideal. We got a ton of subs today and a ton of gifted subs, and we're still, we went down to 546. Man. Yep, that's exactly what we didn't want them to have. That's really sad. Alternatively, we'll play these instead. Because next time we can double block one of these guys. I'm mean, probably poisoning this guy because it's just strictly better than this guy. Especially if it's uh, mentored onto and then it's a 3-4 instead of a 3-3. It can attack by itself and it can pump. So, Mike is going to be back. He's uh, He had to go run an errand for his mom. Wow. Well, this feels like it's going to be hard to win. Uh, view the battlefield. Let's get a Golgari Guild Gate. Mm, get 
in there with this guy, I guess. Prey upon would be nice. But it'll do. Well, this is undoubtedly going to be pretty bad for us. I, I imagine they have a, a, a trick here. I mean, take heart or sure strike blows us out either way, so. Wow, no trick. Alrighty then. This bird is going to do a real number on us, but I guess we get to kill that next turn. We have two blockers. We're not dead. Yeah, this is Thor's hammer. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty bad because now they can pump this guy to four, but I guess we're just trading next turn. Block, block. I don't think we're in that bad of shape. We probably are. That's a good one. Hi, vey. Actually, if they just attack with this, I th think that's okay. Going to one is not the end of the world. They're also at 25. I'm pretty sure they're... I'm pretty sure we're dead. The amount of reach they have right now is pretty unbelievable. That's not it. Alright, so we want to keep three mana up. So we can go one, two, three... Tap this. Okay, that was actually very good. Because now we can play another Guild Gate and play Child of Night here. Child of Night could change this thing. As long as they don't have an answer for our blocker. Any blocker and, and we're dead. Any answer for our blocker and we're dead. So because I said it out loud, because I manifested it into the universe. Alright, that's problematic. <laughs> and less so. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, this is actually... Don't care about you. You I can keep. Oh my god, we're doing it. And we have Chemister's Insight. I mean, it's just a matter of time before they draw the 3 damage and gain 3 life card. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, Glaive seems very good. Holy smokes. How much mana do we have? Four mana left over? So we can go Night Veil Sprite into Glaive? Actually seems good. Oh my god, if we like if we win this game, it's gonna be unbelievable. Like being able to glaive onto the child of night next turn to gain six life, five life is pretty insane. We also get to trade with something. Oh, here we go. Just don't have it. Just don't have it. Give me one I need one turn. That's not it. That's good. That's very good. 
Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So we're going to have one, two, three, four blockers. I don't think that's safe. We'll have five with Whisper Agent. Oh, it says Vigilance too. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. This actually seems okay. They're going to trade with this, but they have to actually block with two guys. Which is actually okay because they, I guess they block with two three threes. Yeah, that's probably what they're going to do. But we gained five, so. Oh. Oh, that's even better. I'm back. Oh, Michael went to the Starbucks. He didn't even ask if I want anything. That's so rude. You know, that is a little rude. I'm sorry about that. Wow, unbelievable. I'll let it slide because we're friends. I guess we're probably going to play Dowser instead of Whisper Agent here. Uh, we were at one, and then we were, like, making the ridiculous comeback with our Saltai deck again. Another Saltai deck? Yeah, that's how you do. Another, you got another sword, too? Yeah, and this is also, we went with the, we went with the guild gate plan, so. Oh, yeah? How many guilds you got? Seven. Okay. Okay. Why Most is there a hole in your hand? A hole in my hand? Yeah. Oh, because this is not a card. This is a jumpstart card. Oh, okay. So it's so a, noting it's a graveyard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not part of your hand. It's just... It's it's hanging okay. out with your hand. I understand now. You Would you say you underhand? No. I kind of just want to put the guild... The, the, this. How many do we have? One, two, three. So it's seven. I kind of just want to put it on like a four, four so that they have to double block with two things. The problem is they could just block with five, five, and three, three. But then we get to trade with a five, five. So it's like... Or we can put it on this guy and then pump it twice, which is still a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. It is not a banana coffee. This is a dragon fruit refresher uh, with no water because I'm not an idiot. Yeah, I also get the no water. Getting the water for suckers. I'm like, let me get... I, get, I actually get half H2O. I'm like, half water? I like the intensity. I don't want Glaive on Sprite because it just doesn't do anything. I'd rather have it on here because now you have to block both of these guys. Or you have to block this guy. At least. If you want to get real extra value, what you do is you get no water. You drink like about half of it, maybe a little less, then you add your own water. Add your own water? Is that like a euphemism? No, it just means add your own I water. I add my own water if you know what I mean. Alright, so 3-3 three, three and 5-5 five, five probably. I will take out the 5-5 five, five for sure. Okay, just two guys. Deal. Yep. This is all fine. Yeah, so now they have two guys on board. We have six life. I feel like we're actually in very good shape here. Um, we can keep mana up, either play Whisper Agent or equip the Glaive. If this guy deals one to each of these, they're both four fours. We can double block here. I'm happy with ending the turn. Glaive on Poisoner isn't great because Poisoner is going to kill whatever blocks it anyway. And... Just like you saw with the Indric, like most of the time, if the Glaive is on a creature at this point, it's going to kill both things that block it, so. Not a huge deal. Hey, man, what are we doing for food? I don't know. Okay, well, you let me know. What do I always got to decide? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have to decide. I just want suggestions because it helps. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm still not really feeling tacos. No, neither am I. I've had. Oh yeah, you I've, made tacos too. I, I've been eating like I've had probably had like twelve tacos in the past two days. Probably more than that. Probably so like, like fourteen. One serving. Would have killed two. We did kill two. We killed two with the Indric. Yeah, that's fine. What'd you say? So I said one serving. You, yeah. In before Mike suggests Sunnies, Mike wants Sunnies. <laughs> you know they're not wrong. Oh, man. This is an aggressive attack here. All right, resolve your mentor. They have no cards in hand? Oh, this is fine. 
How about Indian food? A little tikka masala action or spicy curry? I literally just, I've filled up on Indian food as well, so. Um, so no Mexican, no Indian. Got it. Let's go to blocks. It seems fine. Um, I think it's spelled S O N N Y. -E yeah, it's an O. It has nothing to do with the sun. Wow, I can't believe they got us to one, and we we just wow. This this was insane. Now you get to look at our deck. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Uh, dead weight, hard poisoner, knife fail sprite, rat, two childs, a beetle, a spy bug, a glaive, mm -hmm. a guild summit, veiled shade. Guide, Stray, Dark Blade Agent, Notion Rain, two Notion Rains, Whisper Agent, Insight, Price of Fame, Deadly Visit, two Dowsers, and a Cutie Boy. Outside of the <sighs> Shade guy, I really like this deck. A Shade is, uh, yeah, that was our, that was literally our f 23rd pick. I might just want Silent Dart in here, but it's four mana to kill something, it's just not great. It's a lot of commitment. Olive Garden. Olive Garden does have the unlimited pasta bowl which is the only the only pull i think at olive garden actually crushing canopy might not be bad we've seen we saw healer's hawk and um i'd rather go to sweet tomatoes and olive garden same they also have unlimited pasta i guess and their pasta this month is good they got that multiple cheese fettuccine i like your hat man you're like a little, you look like a pepper. A little pepper. But it'll do. I'll keep this hand. It's a little iffy, but oh, that guy's gonna that guy's gonna wreck our our bottom section. Oh yeah, this is gonna end well. I guess we get a child, a sweet child of night next turn. Whoa, 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 sweet child of night. Yep, take six. Seems good. Yeah, we saw Mentor and the Hawk, which is the name of my indie band. Mentor on the Hawk? And the Hawk. Okay, nerd. It might just be Whisper Agent here. Trades. Every guild dreads infiltration. I should know. I've been a member of all of them. Lazav. Lazav! <laughs> Get it right up the nose, boy. Now they're like, do I attack? I don't know. I might just block here because it forces them to pump and waste their turn. Then I three thieves kind of obnoxious. They could also just have a trick and then, you know, we don't have to worry about it. Don't assault OG Mike on stream. We'll be very upset. This is not assault. This is... It's hammer time. Uh, oh, Guild Summit seems actually pretty good. I'll keep that on top. My problem is that I don't oh, know how hunter. to deal with this guy next turn. All right. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna block like this. Next turn we can play Child, or Guild Summit into Demir Guildgate. That is also an option, but I don't think that's gonna be ideal. We could also play Stray to block here. Just don't have a trick. That's all. Ain't a big deal. Where is your hat? He's wearing his hat. He's a little pepper. 
Cool. Seems good. If we can hit regular night, we can play Dark Blade Agent and Child of Night, which should be good. No blockers if that's your only guy. I'll take three. Can you just not play anything else? That'd be great. That'd be great, okay. Oh, that's a big dude. Well, that is not an untapped land. We can block here and here. We'll take four. And take out two of the boys, but I think we're I think we're just way far behind. Next turn we do get to deadly visit. I guess that's a thing. And if we draw an untapped land, we can affectionate Indric. If they just don't have anything, maybe they just have double blue, double blue, double blue spell in hand. That'd be sweet, right? Or double bl double red rather, not blue. I don't know why I just said I just named a color basically. What's on Mike's head? Well, it's a chili, of course. Clearly a pepper. I'll fling the, the tip. The little donger? Fling your dongers. This feels good because it's cold. Wow, that's aggressive. Why would you even hesitate there? That seems insane. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Yep, that was pretty good. I will go to six manners. Six manners. Hmm. Again, this is not terrible for us. Um, do I want both of these? Next turn, we're going to be playing this guy. What do we do after that? We can play... I don't think we care about this. This guy, however, does block, so I'll deal with it. Man, a long sleeve black shirt and a pepper hat. Such a fashion icon. You're basically you're basically a German a German filmmaker. <laughs> I'm an I'm an artist, you see. Uh, I feel like this guy is scarier. But this guy is actually going to kill us next turn, whereas if they have a removal spell for this, they probably also can't pump it. That's my theory. I sold my game store to be able to watch more Laporte. I don't think that's true at all. There's no way that's a real thing. But I do appreciate that you would do that just to watch more, more of my stream. Wow. Yep, see, that's what I mean. Like, now they can't kill us. Uh, not great for us. Again, we know going to one does... Okay, well, I guess they had it. Never didn't have it, I guess. Considering... I think that was actually a pretty reasonable comeback there. He wore a red beret. The kind he wore was a red beret. I think we're fine like this. Actually, Wall of Mist might be good. Yeah, I don't hate Wall of Mist here. But it hates you. <laughs> that sucks. 100% it's sold today. You wouldn't answer the phone. But you didn't call me. My phone didn't ring. 
There's no way you sold your store, man. There's no way. <laughs> Looks like I'm doing a meme. I'm gonna take out an ocean rain. What'd you say? Looks like I'm doing a meme. Your whole life is a meme. You are literally one giant meme. Nothing personal, kid. What's that from? Just a meme. It's not. That's from something. We've done. We've been over this. Have we? Yes. Huh. You heard it here first, Vince. That's correct. I did hear it here first. There's no way, dude. Absolutely no way. <laughs> what are you, Ethan Klein? <laughs> I think Mike just threw up in his in his whole body. Threw up in his whole body. You know what happened. Oh, look at this guy. We got the and we got the creeping canopy. Body's making all kinds of weird noises. <laughs> he just made a gurgly throat noise unintentionally. It was not intentional, no. I wouldn't say he made it per se. His body made it involuntarily. Please don't throw up Mike B bits. That's good. So hopefully that'll help. No promises. I need to land, Michael. Thank you. You're welcome. Preach. Anytime. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's literally E.T. Elliot. I like this because we can just block here, and it's and it's like no big deal. Although, if they put a Maniacal Rage on it, it's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> I can't. It's like every time. Per I just, just perfect. I just can't, dude. I mean, I guess we can block it. It's unbelievable. Yep, that's not going to do it. So if I play Whisper Agent, they deal three to Whisper Agent. Like we have to play this because we need to play Dowser of Lights next turn. It just has to happen that way. Uh, the question is whether we keep Canopy up for this guy, which we probably do because they're going to mentor onto it, I would imagine. Oh, we can actually... No, we can actually... Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna, yeah, we're going to canopy the Maniacal Rage. Although, I don't know how we deal with the bird after that, because the bird is a six-turn clock. Whereas the Dowser of Lights just deals with the bird next turn. I guess it depends on if they pump this this bird. I mean, it has Mentor, right? You have Mentor. Wow. Got him. I wait, can't believe you. Wait, which has Mentor? The one one. Yeah, but I mean, if they don't pump it, they can't Mentor. Like if they don't attack with it, you mean? Correct. Well, they they have to pump it. There has to be a three. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. A one one can't That's mentor, mentor works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, just those two, huh? Let's go to blocks. I mean, I feel like they still have take heart. Like they have three, they have four cards in hand. The odds of them not having a trick here is pretty low, but show to get low, low, low. They didn't have it. Wow, that's great. Wow, that was a great trade. That was a twofer. They also ordered it incorrectly. Like they could have killed the the generous stray, but instead they decided to kill the other dude. Oh, that's a good draw, but I don't know if we're going to use it. 
Like next turn they can go pump this tap something. Then attack with they can tap this guy. War a raspberry beret. I think it actually might just be poison or keep up whisper agent. I like that better. Because they literally have to tap this to to attack with anything. No attacks. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. And, alright, so you are tapped out. So this guy mentors onto this guy, this guy mentors onto this guy. That's actually worse than I wanted it to be. Or they both mentor onto here. That's probably better, but... We do have to find an answer to this. We do have answers. Okay, so... Resolve 1. Okay, they are making a 3-3. Three, three. Come on, Deadweight. Not a guild gate. Uh, let's go block you and block you. Seems good. Huh. Well, that's a start. It's a living. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, might as well get in there for a point. Put you down to 25. Just drink when you're thirsty, dummy. You're right. I made a terrible mistake. No blocks. We go to five. So if they hit another land... Okay, so now they can just three us and three us. That's good. We're basically just dead to... Is Flintstones really from the 60s? Is it really that old? <sighs> Never didn't have the six mana burn spell in your Boros deck. Cool, thanks for the pack. All right, well. Poro seems real good in this format. I mean, whatever. That sand seems fine. Oh, we got a poisoner? Let's poison all the things. I did not draw land. Maybe next turn. Come on, green source. You'll just get there with that guy. It's fine. I believe it. Oh, dang it. He has a blocker. That was a good draw, but it's not what we, It's not the draw we needed. Everything is good in this form. That's true. I think everything is good. I think it depends on what you have, but I think he, like everything can beat everything else. I don't think Boros is like... I mean, we're also playing the... Uh, really? This guy, huh? Okay. Really? Why not? Why not block with the 1-2? The 
the two one with the one two? Oh, that guy's flying. Never mind. And it has yeah. I mean, and it surveils every time I attack. So now we can play this guy. Oh wow. Surveil. Put you in the trash can because we need lands. Don't have a dead weight. Come on, buddy. Okay, that's just the bats. I gotta mine on a dead weight for you. But dead weight, there's more. No blockers. Okay, I understand. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Are you gonna be a land? Oh god, I wanna keep you, but I can't cast you, so. Discard all the good cards, I guess. It's okay, guys. Two lands and 13 cards. It's normal. It's totally normal. Ah, uh, five mana to kill the spy bug. Seems good. That it was our one condition, though. It did its job. If we draw a guild gate, we can play Burglar Rat. I, I like that. I, I like that. Uh... Okay, well... We did draw a land. Green would have been better, but... I agree. No green, bro. Can't keep it. We can either play Burglar Rat. I think we're just going to rat here. We don't need to land this turn, so next turn we can Notion Rain and try to hit uh, a, a Guild Gate. Play it. Sure. None of these cards are any good. I'll make your burglar rat real small. Sweet, it's a Mike episode, wow. Oh man. That's fine in the graveyard. You're also not you're not fine in the graveyard, but I'll put you in there. Dude, what is what is the deal? Actually, just attacking so we can. Oh my god. Oh god, where are the green sources? 21 cards in the deck so far, and, and we haven't hit. We haven't even seen a single green source. What is the deal? What's the deal with green mana? Uh, I guess we're gonna block here. And if we get a land, we get to play Dowser. If we get a land, famous last words. Huh, well. That's something in it. It's really annoying. I think we're literally going to lose this game because we literally can't find a fifth land that comes into play untapped. Out of 20, 22 cards, we have seen five lands. It's pretty amazing. Yep. Not ideal. <laughs> sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we have to block. Cool. That was a fun game. Fun and interactive magic happening. I will bring him to Fetic Vapors. They had the 2 1, they had the Child of Night, they had two bats. That all creatures are just your opponents? All creatures. Okay. So we'll take out a Child of Night of our own. Actually, I'd rather have a Child of Night than Poisoner. Mike Barbobbly Bits Bits. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, do that. That's perfect. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll keep the same. I see you're risking the green again. Bold of you. Well, I mean, like two lands. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna forsake a two lander. I'll just assume I can hit a third land. Ready? Hey, we did it. Hey, everybody have a good time. We'll see. At least we don't really need green to like turn six, technically. Everybody have a good time, huh? Pinchy the salty. Now this guy's dead. Nailed it. See you later, horseman. Oh, uh, his name is Horseman. I'm all out of horses. I'm so lost without you. Why do you, why? <laughs> why? Even is, no should rain off the top would be nice. Well now it'll be less nice. That glaive's gonna be juicy. You're right. I like a good juicy glaive. <clears throat> That's what they used to call you in <laughs> college. They used to call him juicy glaive. You know why? No, tell me. You don't want to know why? It's probably accurate. Oh, I get the old two for block? No, that's got menace. That is not going to work the way you think it works. There you go. That's a good deal, man. When your uh, when your child of night can gain you five and trade with two other creatures, that's really good. That's a good deal. Okay, you got it. Joke's on you. I didn't even have any surveil. I did. I had one surveil. This is surveil format, okay? You're right. This guy's double menace now. That means you can't be blocked unless it's four creatures. Pop, pop. Give him the old knife hand. No one's giving anybody the knife hand, okay? You just need to relax. Well, I have a lot of removal spells. Yep. That let me surveil. Actually, we should bring a crushing canopy too. Too late for that, Frank. <laughs> I mean, this game anyway. Um, I don't think you want either of those. I don't. I want a sixth land, but I don't want it at the cost of like... I mean, I'm sure the next card will be a land too, so yeah. Yeah, see? It's fine. Yeah, see? Oh, why didn't you attack? Because it's chained up. Is that why? Yeah, man. Search deeply in your soul. No. Search it. Search it deeply! <clears throat> Boop him. Boop that bat. That bat got booped so hard. His snoot is so messed up right now. They have like five cards in hand. That's a lot. Yeah, but they didn't do anything. Didn't they, though? All right. Let's see you kill this guy with your price of fame. Wow. Mono capture sphere control over here. Definitely bring in Crushing Canopy if we survive this match. Boop him and snoop him. That's what I always say. It's like the first time you've ever said that. Prove it. I have a recording of all your life. And you only said it just now. Oh, that's scary. Wow, they took a deadly visit? No, that was pretty good. I gotta boop him and snoop him. I gotta boop him and then snoop him. I'm just gonna keep moving this equipment until you die. Correct. Death is coming. Um... 
That seems good. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm at 25. This guy's getting big. I'm gonna boop him. And then you know what I do after that? Tell me. I snoop him. Oh. Yeah. You didn't think about that, did you, smart guy? No, I didn't. Yeah. I'm not very smart, so. I know. I didn't want to say anything, but. It's okay, you can. <laughs> oh my god, Mephitic Vapors on this board? One time, dude. That'll give me the vapors. Okay. <laughs> Whew! Uh, no blocks, no blockers. Go to damage. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. That, that, that will get your last card, though. That seems pretty good. Let's notion rain. Let's stay dry while others feel the pain. Wow. Pitch two forests, get two islands. Seems good. Sounds about right. See you later, dumb card. Um, That seems pretty good. That draws us a lot. We can tap three. I don't think we need it, though. Really? Yeah, like, I just want to, like, I just want to hit... Like, we're going to Chemister's Insight at the end of the turn. I just want to get closer to the Vapors, because I don't think they can win if we Vapors here. It's not, you, you know, it's not, you know, draw cards equal to the number of gates you control. You have to tap the gates, too. So, it'd play three, and then we'd tap three, and then we'd basically pay six to draw three. Yeah. It's not bad. It also makes any future gates good, too. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna block. I'm gonna just take it. Well, because if we're looking for vapors, like, I'd rather just get this guy off the board and prevent two. Because it's gonna die anyway if we try to hit vapors, so. Pay four. Oh, I don't only have three? Oh, that's awkward. Oh my god, I just want some vapors. You dig a little deeper. We have seven cards left? Good lord. I don't think you can win, but that's okay. And then you need another flyer, so... Well, they could gain two, but... Have you considered snooping them before you boop them? Why not mix things up? I think it gets weird once you snoop first. Explain to me what to snoop is. To snoop? Yeah. Or not to snoop? That is the question. Whether tis noble or in the snoop. Uh, I'm just gonna play 41. What about it? You got a little crust in your beard. You got a little beard crust. Really? It's not like it just fell on your shirt now. So you can probably find it. It's gone now. You messed up. I don't think I found it. Yeah, that was it. That was a little beard crumb. What was it? Do you know what it was? It looks like some dead skin, maybe. Dead skin. Perhaps a sugar flake? Perhaps one sugar flake. I hope they don't have an aggressive start. Yeah, we don't like aggressive starts. I hope we draw Mephitic Vapors and they have an aggressive start. Mephitic Vapors! Oh, I got the Vapors! Gonna play a kitty cat. Do -do 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 -do. Kitty cats every day. 
kitty cats all around the universe. Dang, that's so many kitty cats. Yeah, they're all around the universe, Michael. Vapors one time, vapors one time, vapors, 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 Anybody got an off switch? <laughs> Your mother. Your mother's got an off switch. Take that as a no. Yeah, you take it as your mom got an off switch. Um, uh, no attacks. I would attack. If we attack, then they give this one, they give this negative two, negative O. So we have to block here if we don't want to take the damage. Now, no matter what they give, we have a, a crappy blocker to trade for this guy. They're just going to attack for three in the air. That's fine. But if we attack with this guy, they might attack oh, with this guy mind. as well. Now they're gonna do that because they dead weighted us. I just wanted that life. That's all. That juicy, juicy life. Excuse me, sir. Your life is too juicy. You're gonna have to come with me. <laughs> well, we can play a fat boy. That's. That's. That's offensive to fat boys everywhere. Man, I am a fat boy. You can't even tell me nothing. I wasn't trying to tell you anything. Don't tell me. Yeah, get in there for one. You get him. Get him a body bag. Get him a body bag. That's kind of graphic. Watch, we're going to top deck a... Uh an Indrick, and then we're not going to be able to cast it. The guy knew they had... They, like, it's so obvious they have those. Because they have 14 of them in their deck, but... 12 I am offended bits. Um, I don't want to go to 8 here, so I'm just going to block with this guy. Which I think is fine. You probably just kill that stupid bat. I, I think you're right. I don't like it, but I I guess I have to do that. It's not ideal, but it's, it's killing us, so... I agree. Um... So next time we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll have 6 mana next turn. Well, no, because it comes to play tap. So well, we're going to play one this turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we can actually go... Yeah, I think both of these are fine to keep. Probably should have attacked there. Why? I'd rather just block. I don't want to keep... I'm at 10. I don't want to keep taking 2. Okay. Like, this guy does nothing for us. How dare you... That's the little bug boy. No, it's not. He's little bug boy. It's my little bug You're boy. You're forsaking him. I mean, if they have another capture sphere, it's just whatever. I guess we're just done. I guess our draft just... Of course they do. <laughs> I've never... Wow, this is amazing. Magic Arena is a heck of a game, dude. The opponent just always has it. It's pretty amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we can play everything. Not sure what that does for us, but... Do we play a land this turn? Who knows? Alright, well we did it. Nailed it. I have one more capture sphere in my hand. <clears throat> wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. I'm not even sure we can draw that deals with this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to two. Now we need two answers. Yep. Well, this is a fun draft. <laughs> Unfortunately, not as good as uh, I would have expected. Or preferred. But, uh... Sometimes that's the way it goes, I guess. Can't beat the triple capture sphere draft, uh, I guess. What's our reward? A thundering spine back. 
fantastic. And one pack of Ravnica. Yikes. Yikes. I don't know where this guy came from. I think this is from completing our quest. Give me a, a second Valiant Knight. That's good. That's a good, good randomization method. Two Valiant Knights. And a response resurgence, sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check meundies.com slash franklapore if you guys want sweet deals. 15% off and free shipping and free returns on some sweet micromodal underwear. Socks, pants, tees, whatever. Whatever you guys might want. They even have onesies, which are pretty sweet. So check those out too. Meundies.com slash franklapore. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you guys next time.